sorry too, like, as I know we were supposed to do this like a few days ago, but shit got a little crazy. But you know, better late than never. Okay, everybody, y'all better be screaming, call me by your name. All right, well, first, how you feeling today? How am I feeling today? I feel amazing. I feel thankful, blessed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm glad we got to do this interview because a lot of people have been thinking we're the same person since, like, 2018. I'm fucking dead. I don't know. They say we sound alike, but I don't hear it. I hear it a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's get these questions. I got I got a good four minutes before I have to do another interview. All right, well, let me see. All right, so you said Call Me By Your Name is about a guy you met last summer, right? Yeah. So can you, like, elaborate on the meaning of the song? Yeah, okay. The song is about this artist who I met last summer. It was like, yo, uh... He's like, yo, you wanna you wanna come over? And I was like, oh, he must he must be like he must be like this. Um but shit, he wasn't, but I was like, maybe he is. And it's kind of the mean of the song. You'll see when I drop the genius thing. All right, and can you like say what was the inspiration behind the video? Inspiration behind the video? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what I do with everything, like when I came out, like, okay, okay, um, I'm going to be the one who makes fun of this, you know? So it's like, I'm reclaiming this whole hell narrative. Like, okay, we're going to hell. Bet, mm -hmm. let me go down there and let me be the baddest bitch in hell. That's a concept, pretty much. So did you sell your soul? And if so, how much did you sell it for? <laughs> I sold my soul for about $55. Um, Only 55 it, was it wasn't even worth 100 No. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So how long did it take you to shoot the video? It took two days to shoot the video, but it took me like two weeks to learn how to pull it in. And I worked out for like every single day for three weeks straight to get like the script to do that shit. But you know, we got there. What was the budget, if you don't mind sharing? I think the budget was like one point something mil. Yeah, I love my label. Shout out to the label if you're watching this. Thank you. All right, and you've been getting, like, backlash for already for the video, but then, you know, then you got the shoot collab coming out. So how did that collab come about? The collab come about because they were already thinking about, like, doing the opposite shoot, and mm -hmm. this was just, like, the perfect in-between for both of us with the song releasing. It's so on theme. So, like, we went in, did the shit, and, you know, they, they hard as fuck. I don't care what nobody says. So you don't care about the backlash? No. I mean, hey, it's free publicity. All right, so you announced a couple of days ago that your debut album, Montero, was dropping this summer. What is the artistic direction, and what can we expect from it? You can expect much, many more moments like this. You can expect uh, people learning more about Montero, learning more about me. You can expect me being myself, like, fully and not really giving a fuck, I guess. All right. Yeah. And what was it like collabing with Nicki? Nicki Minaj. Oh, my God. I got to go. <laughs> I love you, Nicki. No, I got a couple more questions. I got to go. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> well, I guess that's a wrap.